Hey everyone, I just hit 10,000 subscribers and I just want to say thanks so much for the support. I'm definitely motivated to make more videos. So to celebrate, I want to publish something that I've been knocking around for a while, a topic that is really important to me. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. Love you all. Nine Inch Nails is my favorite band. And since I'm talking a lot about Doom on this channel, I want to talk about Nine Inch Nails too, because the Doom soundtrack is heavily influenced by Nails, which I'll get more into later. But first, my background. I got into them in 1997, around the time of the perfect drug on the Lost Highway soundtrack. I heard Head Like a Hole on the radio and it was awesome. A friend let me borrow his copy of 1989's Pretty Hate Machine and I fell in love. I quickly went out and got the 1992 EP Broken, 1994's masterpiece The Downward Spiral, and all the singles I could find. I bought every magazine with Nine Inch Nails on it. I quickly got into Marilyn Manson and Tool and I'd already discovered White Zombie by that time. As news of a new album came out, I waited with insane anticipation for 1999's The Fragile, an album that changed my entire life and perspective on music. I've followed Nine Inch Nails ever since, seeing them seven times from 2000 to 2018. So there are my Nine Inch Nails fan credentials. I'm also a composer myself and a moderately experienced audio engineer, so I really love to examine the music that I like. This video is going to be composed of two lists. One is a top 10 of my personal favorite songs, and the other is a top 10 list of songs to recommend to a new listener. Because sometimes a fan's favorite songs aren't necessarily the best songs to introduce to a person hearing Nine Inch Nails for the first time, as an understanding of Nails' style and history can greatly affect how you hear a song. So here we go, my top 10 Nine Inch Nails songs. Number 10. No, no, just kidding, I'm not gonna talk like that. Number 10, Heresy. This song defines industrial music to me. A throbbing, menacing beat with dirty synth loops, really cool effects on the vocals, and the guitar is so perfectly distorted and EQ'd to make it very in your face, but also easy to disappear into the mix. You feel the chord progression of the chorus more than you hear it. And that solo of pure noise is genius. Number nine, something I can never have. I couldn't tell you how much this song means to me. In those moments of heartbreak that we all experience, this is a great song to put on in your car in the middle of the night in front of the park and just let it all out. Musically very simple, but so intimate and heartfelt. On a production level, this song is a perfect example of how industrial music doesn't have to be loud and screamy. The industrial droning tones and atmospheres give this song its identity. Number eight, happiness and slavery. Have I used the word industrial enough? Well, this song takes it to the extreme. This song is as groovy as it is chaotic, an explosion of rage and frustration that comes with some of the coolest production tones of Nine Inch Nails' entire catalog. Number six, The Big Come Down. This song is my jam, and I'm so happy that I heard it live. The chorus is really groovy, and those guitar riffs are just so bizarre. The crunchiness of the drums mixed with the upbeat synth pulse give the song a really cool feel. And it's a great example of the unique sound of the album The Fragile, mixing synthesized sections with analog instruments. And that lead section at the end gives me chills to this day. Number seven, that's what I get. I don't talk much about the lyrics of songs, though I love them and I know them by heart. But this is one that I love for the lyrics. The music is absolutely beautiful while being groovy at the same time. And the way Trent pours his heart out in regret just tears me apart. Number five, Ruiner. This may be the most awesome chorus melody ever written. I can't quite put my finger on it, I don't know how to describe it. The song has a driving beat of boom ba 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 boom boom ba and then drops into a straight 4-4 techno beat but not in a way that makes you want to dance because the music explodes into something that feels so epic like you're witnessing a supernova explosion. And it has this sort of jungle tribal sound to the distorted synthesizer, it's crazy. And then the outro guitar is really bluesy and cool. Number four, The Frail and the Wretched. There's a case for putting this one at number one because it's probably his most brilliant piece. The Frail is a very light piano track that connects to The Wretched and they are inseparable in every fan's opinion. You can't listen to The Wretched without listening to The Frail first. And once The Wretched starts, the slow pulsating drums, low monotone synth, spooky piano melody, industrial high frequency noise, raging mechanical guitars, and absolutely vicious vocal performance and lyrics cause this song to shine like no other. And not only is it one of the greatest nail songs ever made, but it's also the greatest moment of the tour that followed the release of The Fragile. I highly recommend searching for The Frail and the Wretched AATCHB Live 
2002 on YouTube to experience this song. Number three, The Becoming. I think this might be the coolest song Trent ever made. The really interesting time signature changes and that machine style synth mix so well with his vocal melody. And the lyrics are so good that I don't know if he's ever topped them. Not a lot to say here, it's just a really cool song. Number two, The Perfect Drug. The Perfect Drug is such a special song, standing independent of any particular era of the band. It sounds unlike any other Nine Inch Nails song and wouldn't fit onto any album. The beat is so crazy and the vocals and lyrics are so catchy and cool. The lyrics are really sad and intimate, but the song is really fun to listen to. It has a wild drum and synth solo and the most beautiful outro piano section of any song I've ever heard. And the video is absurdly good. I feel blessed to have heard this song live at the last show. And number one, Just Like You Imagined. This is the single greatest musical creation of Trent Reznor's career. The half-synth, half-real instrument mix of The Fragile reaches its full potential on this one. It's an instrumental track, and honestly, it doesn't need vocals. It has a unique beat and groovy bass loop, and parts of the song have sort of a tribal tone to them, till they explode in industrial guitar noise and massively distorted synthesizers. The cherry on top is a guest performance from Mike Garson, known for his work with David Bowie, on a sprawling piano section in the middle of the song. I'm sad to have never heard this one live, even though I went to the Fragile tour, but the video from that tour is enough to keep me happy. This one needs to be heard with good headphones and can be studied for years. And here's my list of 10 songs to recommend to a new listener. Number 10, Every Day is Exactly the Same. This is one of the tamer Nine Inch Nails songs. It's groovy and sweet with lyrics that anyone can relate to. Number nine, Terrible Lie. I recommend this to an older listener with a taste for something closer to the 80s, but still in the mood for something dark, heavy, and angry. Number eight, A Warm Place. The most beautiful Nine Inch Nails instrumental piece. This is for your friend that likes soft, relaxing music. Number seven, The Frail and the Wretched. Send the live YouTube video to your friend that likes dark, moody music. Also for people with an education in music or an interest in audio production. Number six, March of the Pigs. A classic, a song of total rage. This one is for the metalheads and the moshers out there. Number five, The Hand That Feeds. It's a great single. It's catchy, it's dancey, it's good for the really casual listener. You know, those people who just like to go to clubs or people who love Linkin Park but they say their favorite song is numb or something like that. Very commercial, very good. Number four, Right Where It Belongs. From the same album as The Hand That Feeds, this song is kind of for everyone. It's soft, sweet, and very relatable to anyone pondering the idea of getting old. Beautiful piano melody and nice touches of industrial production. Number three, Copy of A. High recommendation for younger audiences. The techno beat, the trippy synth loop, and the hypnotizing chorus are perfect for someone in their teens or early 20s with zero exposure to industrial music. You can dance to this one at a party, and it's a great way to get someone interested. I love this song. Number two, Hurt. You can't do a list of Nine Inch Nails songs without Hurt. It's musical perfection, arguably one of the greatest songs ever made. Incredibly sad and personal, with music that is simultaneously haunting and comforting. Part of the reason I recommend this one is because a lot of people are familiar with Johnny Cash's excellent cover, so that can be a good way to introduce the original. And number one, Closer. What other song could be at the top of the list? Closer is one of the greatest songs ever made. It also has one of the greatest music videos ever made. Everything about it is iconic. When it came out, there was nothing like it, and there's still nothing like it, even as imitations have been attempted for more than two decades. The song is, with no exaggeration, a masterpiece. And while any other song on this list is susceptible to different tastes in the listener, Closer is universal. Closer can be sent to someone who likes grunge, metal, hip-hop, pop, it doesn't matter. The song transcends genre, and though any hardcore fan will probably not have it as their personal favorite, it can't be denied how good the song is. And those are my lists. I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. If you're interested in getting into Nine Inch Nails, I recommend starting at the beginning of 1989's Pretty Hate Machine. Spend a week with it, move on to Broken, then the Downward Spiral, then the Fragile, and so on. It's not like a metal band where every album is basically the same genre and you're judging them based on song quality. Nails albums are all very different in tone and production, and they're all really good in their own special ways, especially the first four. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you in the next video.